Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Sims 3 video. This one is a build, but it is slightly different because it is the start of a new series called the Build With Me series, where I will build a home in real time with you and you guys can follow along at home. And I will put the picture on screen that we're gonna be building, but I'm so excited to start this with you. Full credits go to Katie's Corner as that's where I first saw this like whole video idea. So I will link their video down below for you to check out. But anyway, let's get into it. So as you know, the house is on a screen so you can follow along there or just follow along as I'm kind of going through it step by step. I am on a 30 by 30 lot in Sunset Valley as this is pretty good size when building. It is a good average kind of lot size so it can fit almost any house. Uh, it's not too big, not too small. It's perfect, but obviously build it on whatever lot size you wish. But anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing that is so important when starting building a home, flattening the lot. I always get caught out with this where I'm building and then it says like the terrain is uneven, but there's nothing I can do because I've already started building. So it's too late then. But remember to do it before you build. So press flatten lot and it will flatten the whole lot for you. It is amazing. So uh, for this house, we're going to be using the constrained floor elevation false cheat. If you're not familiar with it, it may seem a little confusing at first, but I'm going to explain it, talk you through it, and hopefully you can kind of understand what's happening. But let's just get into it. So before we do that, we are going to go ahead and place the foundations that we can see like on the picture, I guess. So the first pit I'm going to start with is the doorway, the entryway. So we're going to go maybe one, two, three, four, five, six maybe six back from the very front of the lot and roughly in the middle. And we're going to go and build four for the foundation. And then we'll do another bit just so that there's enough room between the stairs and the front door. Then to the right of the doorway, there is like, um, there's like a little windowy bit. It looks like it's about four. Uh, and I think I'm going to do five just because for Sims, it would make more sense. So there's more room inside the home. So we'll do that for now. And then we're going to go, I think I'm going to go back one tile and we're going to do a four. I think, I think I want to do a four. And then we're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to do that. And then we're going to place a chimney approximately here. So this little bit here will be the chimney, this like weird two square. And then we're going to go back another three, just so it's kind of even with the chimney in the middle of that wall. Then we're going to go across about uh, four, I think it's a good bit. And then we're going to go across four. So it's like a little square. Perfect. Okay. And then over here, hidden behind some trees, I can see a little bit of a bump out there too. So I think I will do about this maybe. I think that's kind of good. So I'm just going to do a big square and we can work on this and uh, figure this out. And actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this and we're going to make a garage there instead. So you can get rid of that. You can keep it and not have a garage. It's up to you. But for my sake, I'm going to put a garage there instead of that little bump out we had. And then at the back of the house, because it's looking a little bit flat, we can't see the back of the house in the picture. But I'm going to go and I'm going to do a little bump out right mm, here. And then we are... Looking good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to press Control Shift C and we're going to type in testing cheats enable true to enable our cheats. Press Control Shift C again and you're going to type in constrain floor elevation false. And this basically means that you're able to put a wall and a foundation beside each other. I'll show you exactly what I mean right here. So we're going to put the garage around here somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, hang on, is there enough space here? five mm, I think there'll be enough space okay so we're gonna do this six and then oh, hang on <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing bear with me okay and we're gonna go one two three four five and I think I'm gonna do six just because we're slightly short for space there there's not as much as I would like there and we're gonna do that okay perfect now what we're gonna do go to our terrain tools after we've done our garage just go over a piece of the foundation because we want the walls that are currently, you know, normal wall height and kind of are stretching up the foundation. We want those to be the same height as the foundation. So we're going to click over a piece of the foundation to allow us to kind of drag. And we're going to go to the top corner here and flatten 
everything out. Ignore that little triangle that's always there whenever you do this. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Then we're going to click on the create a room and just go over it again. And we'll worry about that later and we'll go back and do more with that in a minute. Okay, so we are now going to outline our house with our walls, starting with our chimney, which will also be a room because it's going to be a chimney. It's not going to be connected. And then we're going to do this. And now, okay, so here in the picture, there is an archway. I won't be able to do that because I want to use, I want to use these staircases and the staircases are going to be in the way. I won't be able to do both. So we're going to use like uh, columns and stuff. It will still look great. It just won't be exactly what is on the picture, but it will still be nice. So that is going to be kind of like a separate room almost because of the way we want to do it. And then we're going to have this bit here and a little bump out. And then a little bump out there. And then there we go. So this is kind of our house so far. We're going to go upstairs. We are going to go to our flooring. The reason I'm placing a flooring is because it makes it so much easier to like re-outline it I guess and see exactly what I'm doing so I'm not kind of seeing the walls underneath and getting confused or distracted or anything so when you're placing your flooring hold down shift and place your flooring and you could do the whole thing in one go it's so much quicker and just remove the roof so that there's no auto roofs placed and then we're going to go back to our walls and just do it all again so we're going to go the chimney and go around it. So there, I'm not going to put any walling above the garage. I'm not outlining this because we're going to put roofing on it. So instead, outline everything else. Actually, no, hang on. Don't outline here. But you're going to outline this like so. so. Just like this. This should be what we have. The reason we're going back two is because when you go downstairs, this entryway is also two. I just think it makes sense the way it is here. Change it if you wish, and we may even change it. It doesn't matter. We'll work with it in the future. There we go. And then we will outline back here too. And then we're just going to join it up with this one right there. So there we go. There is our current shell of a house. Grab the flooring. Again, press shift, and it will place over everything. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a chimney here. The reason being is because chimneys are typically higher than the rest of the walls anyway, so it makes sense. So, go to our roofing. We're going to start with the gable roof, and we are going to go from this corner up here, right down to the bottom right corner. And this is what we have. And then we're going to go with the same roofing, and we're going to go like so. And we have this sort of a thing, which looks quite cool. And then we're going to get the half gable roof, and we're going to do... Hang on now. You may need to go back further than you need to. So if the roofing is going into the house, don't worry. If you're like, oh, there's a wall in there though. Like, what do I do? You could delete that. It won't affect the roof or anything like that. You could just delete this when we are doing the floor plan. And what we're going to do, try and match this up to this roof as best as possible. So it's, it might look a little bit funny, uh, but it will do the job. I think it looks okay. It kind of matches up good enough for me. Okay. We're going to go back to our gable roof and we're going to put that over the garage like so. And then just because there's a weird gap here between this little bump out and this roof, we're going to get the half gable roof and go like that. And it literally just fills it in. You wouldn't even notice it was there. Get the gable roof again and pop it over like that. And then at the very front of the house, there is another bump out. So you can either use like the half gable roof or a different one. It is up to you. I'll just see how this looks and decide mm, no i think what i'm gonna do is use the half gable roof instead of the gable and pop it right there i think that looks pretty good to me perfect so in terms of the actual roof color and everything like that what we're going to do is we're going to do the walling first and then we will work on the color of the roof because it's just easier that way and I think it looks a lot better. So there you go. There's your roofing so far. Um, what I might actually do is I might move this over. I think it looks kind of funny the way it's lining up with the roof. You might like it. And if you do, that is completely fine. It is totally up to you. But I'm going to move this over. So grab the foundation and just drag it. Grab the wall and just drag it. Grab this wall and just drag it over like so. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Only drag it over whatever you're moving it over. And you're probably like, oh my god, the foundation's all messed up. Don't worry. Go to Terrain Tools, 
grab the level terrain which we used when we were over at the garage, go down here. Again, we're going to get the foundation, drag from one corner to the other so that it is now flat and even. And we're going to just delete this roof, or not the roof, the flooring where it's kind of a little bit funny. And then go back and grab your gable roof and put it over. And it, I think it looks a lot better that way. It just looks more natural in a way. Uh, so yeah, there we go. There is the shell of our house. So save your game. Don't forget to save your game. This is your reminder to save it. I will do the same thing and then we'll get back and we will work on the exterior and the walling of the house. Okay, so once you've saved your game, I'm going to show you now how to do the garage before we get on to like the walling and everything like that. So I'm going to put the garage door on this side. I just think it will look kind of cool maybe and have a path kind of going around like that. So what you're going to do is delete. Boom, boom. Oops, not that one. Delete. One, two, three, and four of those walls because those four that you've deleted is where the garage door will sit. Then go back to walls and replace it. But instead of leveling it to match the foundation, you're going to level it to match the wall height. So you're going to start up here, go from here all the way across to here, just so that you level it. Now, it does look funny. It does look unusual having it like this at an angle but because I put it at the side of the house you're barely gonna notice it and it will be just fine you know what I mean it'll be fine so there you go you can now place a garage door on there just fine and it will sit like it will anywhere else and it's also now connected to the house it is so cool on to the walling so the original house was like white and it's got like kind of a brick as well I think I will follow that just because I'm very you know, I'm happy with how it looks, but what I'm going to use instead of the kind of, I don't know what kind of walling that is, it's kind of just smooth looking, I will be using this one from Ambitions, the, what do you call it? I don't know what you call this. The clapboard? I'm going to be using the clapboard, I guess. I'm going to go like this, and then we're going to get, uh, oh, not that one, this. So, press R on your keyboard, or press the recolor thing to recolor the walling. And I am just going to make it white, I think. It will look pretty good that way. So we're going to drag this up here. And then down here too, so that this little trim bit is also white. And then on this one, you're going to make it like a darker version of whatever you decide to make the colour. So that it will look like the clapboard and it's not just like a plain white wall. And then drag it there too. Perfect. So now we're going to place this uh, everywhere. But before we do that... We're now going to place the brick wherever we feel like. So I think I'm going to use maybe this one. This one is from Pets, but I really, really like it. I think it looks really, really good. And I think it will be quite nice with the house. So we are going to put it down here. Mm, well, should I? Or we could use, hang on, let me show you, something like this. And then this will allow us to kind of get a split wall, if that makes sense. So I am going to replace this paint bit and I might end up changing the clapboard actually if we're going to end up going with this idea. But go to wood and then look for something that looks sort of like clapboard. It's not going to be identical to this but I think it will look cool if we do a clapboard and a brick half and half I guess. So we're going to look for any sort of pattern that is the wood going uh, horizontally. So I think I might go for this one. It does sort of in a way mimic clapboard slightly it's not exact but we're also going to make it white like I was originally going to because I think it will look kind of cool maybe like this it's not exact but it looks quite nice yeah that's good and then on this one which is the bottom half of it we are going to go to masonry and find a brick or some sort of a texture like that that you like and that you think is quite nice now, I will be using custom content. Obviously, feel free to use what you want. If you want a link to anything I use in particular, please let me know when I can give it to you. But uh, I will be using custom content anyway. Uh, which one looks at the best? I quite like this one, this brick one, and I might just change it to be more of a grey like it is in the image and just slightly recolor it to suit uh, me and to see what I like the best. Okay. And then maybe make this slightly lighter. Yeah, I quite like this. Okay, I think it looks quite good. Let me just change this. Yeah, 
I'm happy with this. I think it looks pretty nice and it's good enough for me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get a plain, completely blank walling, which is, look at this one. Press R on your keyboard again. Click on this one, which we just recolored. Drag the, what do you call it? The wooden kind of clapboard looking texture. Drag it onto it so that it will be matching, but just as a full wall instead of the half wall like this one is. And then grab the flat wall, which we just recolored. And I'm going to make everything this color first and then add the brick wherever I think it should be. So go all around the house. Don't forget underneath the roofs. That is a very common, commonly forgotten place to recolor. So just don't forget to do that. The chimney, it's okay if you don't recolor it right now because we will be changing it a little bit anyway. So it's not a major deal. Okay, so once you've done that, I will get this wall with dado or whatever it is basically the one that's half and half and i'm going to be putting it all along the bottom i think and then yeah i think i'm going to do that i feel like it looks quite nice and then we're going to go and get the flat wall again pop it here on the foundation right here grab this as if we're going to recolor it hold on to the brick instead of grabbing the whole thing hold on to the brick drag it over here and then press a tick once we have recolored that and then you're going to grab the foundation and make it everywhere so you have like the bottom half of the house is like this I guess it looks quite nice and then I think I'm going to do it there on the chimney just because the chimney is I don't know I kind of like it like that and also on the picture it's higher up like that all right so what we're going to do here we are going to hmm see it's kind of tricky because it's kind of awkward the way it is painted. It's a little bit awkward with the roof is slanting, but I think I'm gonna do this. Or maybe, no, I think what I'll do is I'll make the whole front of that just like that, just so it's, it's less complicated and it's just easier. And you wouldn't even notice it, it's completely fine. So, once you've done that, we are now gonna look at the roofing uh, patterns and we're gonna find one that you either like the best, you think matches the walling you have done the best, or matches the picture the best. It's totally up to you. You do not have to follow the picture 100%. It's totally up to you. This one's nice, simple. Um, oh, I like that one. That one's quite cool. Mm, I think I want something a little bit more brown. Not this brown, but just a little browner to match the sort of slight brown tinge to the brick. Mm, too light, too like kind of purpley pink. I like this. I think this is quite nice. I think it matches it. It's a bit dark, but it matches it nicely. Amazing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sort out the stairs, windows, and doors. So we're going to remove this and remove this. Go to your columns and, well, actually, let's do stairs first because columns won't really work or stairs won't work when you have columns in. So for the stairs, I always use this stair. I don't know why, Personal preference, I think, more than anything, but use whichever one you prefer. Place it here. I will remove the railing for now. I may replace it, but for now, I will remove it. And I am now going to put on the move objects on cheat, which is literally just move objects on. And then I'm going to go to the columns and find a column that I think will look the best with the house. I think this one's quite nice with the way it sits. I don't know, something about it I quite like. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click it. Hang on, go at a certain angle. What angle can you see it at here? The way you can kind of see this part clipping through, I'm not a big fan of that. So we're gonna click on it, Alt, hold down Alt key, move it ever so slightly just to hide the part that's kind of clipping through the wall. So just like that, there you go. And I think it looks so much better than it did. Amazing. Onto windows. So there are loads of space for windows here. I want to find like big, beautiful windows that will look amazing. I think I want to use, I have one in mind. I think these ones, you know what I mean? They're simple, yet I think they look really nice. So we're going to put that there and then upstairs too. And then... I have got a custom content version of it, which has like different heights and stuff. So I will be using that and I can link it below if you would like me to. Please just let me know for any links 
and I will happily give them to you. But as you can see, I have like different heights and stuff and it's very, very cool and very handy. So I want to see if I can do something cool with it. So if we add the normal one at full height, will this look weird? Or is that kind of cool? In a way, I feel like it's kind of cool, but I'm not sure. I feel like it kind of works, but at the same time, is it a bit weird? Who knows? Let's see what else we have. Uh, okay, there's not really much else. I think I will just go with uh, what I was thinking. So we'll put that there for now. And then I'll grab this one. And we'll do that. And then I'll see how this looks. It might look a bit weird. Let me just check it again. Mm, nah, I think we'll just go for the normal one. And I might actually change the bottom ones. Maybe the bottom ones here to the shorter ones just to see how they are looking. Let me just grab them here. Yeah, I like that. I think it looks nice with the brick below it. So it's not kind of clipping through it. I have something about it. I just... I think it suits the house nicer and the the walling. So I will use that and there we go. And then I'll do the same thing here. It might look a bit weird because this is kind of a main section. It might look kind of weird having a shorter window below it, but I don't really care. And also if your window does this where you could see the wall through it, all you need to do is click on it. Click, place, done. And it's back to normal you know what i mean it's not weird looking like it was anymore and i might also change this to a lower one too i just feel like because of the height of the wall it looks kind of weird does that look any better probably not okay let me go back something about the window or with the roof it looks kind of funky it's fine so on this wall and on these windows i will be putting shutters again let me know if you want them linked below. If you have shutters to use, go ahead and use them. But I will be using I think these ones. I think they just fit the best with these kind of windows. Yes, they fit pretty good. Good enough for me anyway. So I will put those on any windows that are this height at the front of the house. Because I think they look the best. And then I'll do the same thing here. Just to match it up, I think I'll use the black like it is because that is what it is in the picture and I think it will complement the uh, everything, the colours I guess. I think it will complement it really well and then for these windows which are longer I'm going to use the longer version of the shutter and then same on the other side of the window. It's very awkward placing shutters, it takes a lot of trial and error but you eventually get it and I think it looks really nice. So on the house there is a little window right here above this roof if i can fit it and it looks good i will use it but uh i might not i'll just see how it looks or how does this look mm, that's actually not too bad i feel like for some reason a round one just won't look right yeah no i think i'll use the square one or there's this square one too that's kind of nice i do sort of like that actually uh tricky it's so tricky there's so much choice. It's so overwhelming. Well, let me see what these ones are like. Or a shorter version of it, maybe. Mm, no. I think I will go... Well, how does this look? Oh, I kind of like that. I like that. It's nice. I won't put shutters on it because it's a tiny little window. I feel like it might look a bit odd having so much going on there for such a small window and i might see if i can fit a window up here i think it would look quite nice to have something if it will fit if it, oh, it won't fit okay never mind never mind will anything fit up there i feel like the roof is just too low to fit anything which is fine it's not a big deal i just thought it would look quite nice having some kind of a little window up there but clearly the game has other ideas. Uh, will anything fit? Okay, no. I don't think anything will fit. So I'm going to leave it as it is and stop trying things. But now it's on to recolouring the windows we have. So, hang on, let me fix this one. So it's facing the right way. Because some of the windows have, as you can see, like a little opener, I guess. Which, you know, they don't work. But for realism's sake, I want them inside as if you're going to open the window inside the house so then it's just smooth on the outside 
So, the windows on the picture, they look kind of grey in a way. They don't look white, they don't look black, they look sort of grey. So I'm going to click on this. So I don't know, I'm not going to make it a wood texture. I think I will we'll literally just make it uh, a plain grey. Nothing fancy, but nice and simple. And then just make everything the same. Uh, hmm. I might make it more of like a, a warmer one. Slightly darker. How does that look? I think that's kind of nice. I feel like the shutters are slightly uneven. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit, but I don't care. Just pretend you don't even notice it and all's well. It doesn't matter. And then to just recolor every window uh, the color that you wish. I feel like building houses is such a, th a trust the process thing. Already, this looks amazing. It looks so much better than it did where before we had recolored the windows. So seriously, trust the process, keep going, and you might be surprised by how it ends up looking. I'm so happy with how it is so far. We are now going to recolor the columns, I guess. I think I'll give them a wooden sort of a texture. In the image, there is an archway that is stone. However, we can't put an archway here because of the stairs and everything. So this is what we're going to do. Well, hang on. Let me try it actually really quick. I think I, for some reason, I think I did it before where I actually did have a wall over the stairs, but for some reason, I don't think it works. No, it doesn't work. I don't know how I did it before then. Let me try this. Let me put in an archway and if it works, great. If not, it's fine. We'll try something else. This one is a stone uh, archway. It looks amazing. So we are going to use this again. Click it so it's see through and it's not all weird. Let's just see. No, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. Hang on. Let me just try one more time. No. Okay. That's fine. Go back. We will leave the columns or whatever the way they are, I guess. Well, actually, hang on. I've got an idea which we can use the archway with. Sorry for all this, you know, nonsense building and everything. But thing is, building is like this. You're figuring things out. You're seeing what works and what doesn't. It's a lot of trial and error. Sometimes you might have an idea and you're like, this is an amazing idea. This will 100% work. And then it doesn't work. And then you feel defeated. But that's what building is all about. And it's the joy of building. And it's part of the fun. So if you have an idea, try it, of course, that you, you know, you think is better than this. Or you think, mm, I think this would look better than what she did there. Go for it. Absolutely go for it. Because that's what I mean. It's trial and error. Do whatever you want. I actually quite like this. And I think I'm going to use it. Uh, it does mean that the stairs are out further than I'd like them. But at the same time, we get our beautiful archway. Again, I can link it below. Just, just let me know. Just give me a comment. As for the staircase, I will go for like a, a brick, I think. I think it would look the best. So let me drag this one over from the foundation and see how it looks. It might look a bit weird. Uh, oh, it's kind of nice. I kind of like it. I think I'm happy with it and I will go for that. And also because I've added the foundation here, I cannot forget to recolor it the same as the rest of the foundation because otherwise it will look a bit odd. But there you go. That's kind of the main outside of the shell. We are now going to do the floor plan, then add in the rest of the windows once we've done that. So floor plans can be very overwhelming. I completely understand it. Also, we will add a front door. Don't worry. Floor plans can be so overwhelming. I completely get it. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't stress yourself about it. And also this is kind of part of the video where you can, you know, do your own thing. You can, you don't have to follow me with the floor plan. If you think something works better than what I've done, go for it. Absolutely go for it. But let's take a look. It's a lot of like analyzing, seeing, okay, what, what can we do here? Where will a kitchen look the best? Where will this look the best? I think kitchen up here will look good. I think maybe a dining room here, dining table with some windows could look quite nice. Uh, there's just a lot of space to work with. So it's kind of tricky, but it could look nice. Or maybe if we do, okay, if we were to put like a bathroom and stuff along here, if we do this, it's like a little hallway. We put bathroom at the end. We get an archway or door maybe here and then put laundry stuff in there too. So you've got your laundry and your bathroom and it also separates off this, which this can be like a living room. 
Hang on, let me move it back. There's like too much space. So it's gonna be a small bathroom and a small laundry room, but I'm happy with that. I don't mind. I may even make it into one big thing. We'll see. But dining, kitchen, uh, I think that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So we're gonna add in stairs and then work with the rest of the space over here. So we cannot add in stairs right now. Let me show you what happens when we do. They go into the floor and they disappear. You're probably wondering, why is it doing that? What could be causing this issue? It is the constrained floor elevation false cheat. So to stop that cheat, you wanna do constrained floor elevation true to do the opposite of it, to basically stop it from working. So constrain, oops, maybe spell it right if you're gonna do it. Constrain floor elevation true. And then as you can see, your stairs are working properly. This part here, hang on. Just, yeah, it's fine. It goes away itself, but just if it doesn't, just fine. Don't worry about it. So, pop in your stairs wherever, again, wherever you think is the best. Just, if you're thinking, oh my god, why is the stairs, oh my god, what am I doing? If you're wondering why the stairs are not working here, it is the roofing walls. Like I said earlier, you can literally just delete that. Not a problem at all. It doesn't affect any of the roofing, as it's just the walls on the inside of the house. Doesn't matter. So, Go back to your stairs and figure out where you want to place them. Um, okay, so I might put them like here or maybe this way. Or maybe this way. Who knows? I can literally put them anywhere. All right, so I don't really want to take away from a lot of the space that there is. I may put them here and I'll show you my plan. So you're walking in here. This could be like a little entryway. Now, if this is the living room, it's gonna be snug. It's gonna be pretty small, but it might be okay. You know, we might be able to make it work. I can obviously move the stairs over it if I need to, but there's that. And it kind of separates off the dining and the kitchen from the living room. Again, we can change it. It doesn't matter. But I could put a bedroom here, maybe. Do this could be like a bathroom maybe I don't know this is what I go through every time I'm furnishing a house the floor plan seems to take forever but this could be a bathroom for either like an ensuite or whatever and then and then yeah <laughs> I don't like it no because you can't get through the room all right so maybe this could be like an office space if you make it a bit smaller it could be some sort of an office -y space possibly or this could be an office space right here and then this could be something I don't know oh my god okay how about this is a bedroom this is an office space very small but it can be like just a desk and an easel or whatever and then you're able to walk through into the kitchen into whatever you know what I mean we'll open this out so the living room is nice and open and easier to maneuver through maybe actually we'll spin this around I think if I spin it, it might look a bit better because we could almost put it into this corner here. And then this is more like the entryway, you know, get your door entryway. There's an office, a bedroom. It's kind of split everything off a little bit better. So upstairs, we have so much space to work with. First thing, I think I'm going to open this out so you can look downstairs and see all that. And then we'll get like a bedroom here. Maybe like a bathroom, like I was saying downstairs, but we'll just do it upstairs. I'm going to put another bedroom there. Uh, and then I want you to be able to get to this bedroom. So I might, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, hang on. I might like do this. So it's another bedroom. It's a bit awkward, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. And then another bedroom. So we're using as much of the floor plan as possible. It is a bit funky. It's a bit unusual, but I don't really mind. I think it looks okay. I'm kind of happy with it and how it looks and everything. And uh, yeah, I think it's okay. I might get an ensuite in here. We've got the space. Uh, so I think I should do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with it. I think it's good. Uh, let's get on into this. So first things first, save your game. This is your second reminder. We have done all of this. Go and save your game, okay? Okay, before I forget, once you've saved your game, before I forget, 
go and put another bit of like a, I think a full wall will look good here yeah just to make the chimney a bit higher or is that ridiculous maybe that's ridiculous okay do a half wall instead because the half wall is so good it has a little trim at top that it kind of it it makes sense for a chimney I feel like it looks quite good and then go ahead and recolor it I think I'm going to recolor it the same way as the wall uh I think it would look quite good so now we're gonna work on uh flooring and walling and all that stuff and then we'll put in windows throughout the house but uh yeah first things first the flooring so because it is ex extremely dark I'm gonna put uh, lighting everywhere I would use the bite bug lighting but it messes my game up so I will not be using that but I'm gonna use these custom content little you know dot lights uh, but use whichever light you wish it really doesn't matter just whatever allows you to see the space and then just put multiple whatever you whatever you need and don't forget like hallways and stuff like that uh and yeah it's looking pretty good so far the garage don't worry about it we can work on that later it's not overly important unless you're planning on like actually using it and stuff like that i never do i never even really put a car in there uh it's more for like decoration i guess okay so for flooring, I am going to be using a wooden floor, which is custom content. So again, whatever you want to use, go ahead. But I'm going to use this base game custom content flooring. It is free. That is amazing. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Then we're going to recolor it. And I will be using custom content for this. Again, whatever you want to use, go ahead and use it. Or I can link stuff below if you want, to, if you want me to. It's totally up to you. But just go for whatever you think looks the best. So just, you know, keep clicking things, keep seeing, hmm, I'm not sure how this looks. And like try recolouring things and, you know, you might surprise yourself, find new things. I always try and do that as much as I can. You know, if I see a new object, try and use it a different way to what I'd normally use it. And it looks pretty good. But I think for the colour scheme for the interior, I think I want to go for like really cosy, warm just clean, just really nice. So I think this flooring is kind of nice for that. And we're going to put it uh, anywhere you want to use it. I will use it out here too. But again, whatever you want to do, go ahead. Or does it look a bit weird out here? Mm, I'll see. I'll do the, the inside bit of the little porch and I'll see. I'm going to put it everywhere. Don't forget the hallway. And then for the bathrooms, we'll do something different. So we will work on that now. So for that, I think I'm going to use, hmm, we'll look at tile and we'll see what tile there is. There are some quite nice ones, but it really just depends on how I'm feeling. Because we've got this one, which we could use, which is nice. Hmm. Or there's this one, which I do use so much, but for good reason. You know what I mean? It's very nice. This one's very nice too. And recently I've been using a lot of this kind of one. I think it fits in with like so many homes and it's very nice but obviously there's like you can use this one or you know this one but I have definitely been using this one so much so I think I'm going to stick with that and just recolor it slightly to change it up a little bit and I think I'm going to make it a bit warmer and this bit too Ooh, I like it I think it looks nice I think it's quite cool but it's really cool that like there's so many, you know, objects and flooring and stuff like that, that I, I would never think to use this. But one day I saw it and I was like, hold on, these stone flooring, are they're so good for kitchens. Surprisingly, they're so good. So I will be putting in a bathrooms too. I always do that where I'll use it in the kitchen and then use it in every other room. So it's just handy and I like it. And you could probably even use it in the garage. So I'll put it in there for now. Again, change it up if you want. It's up to you. So now we're on to the walling. Okay, I'm going to use this walling. You can see the difference. So dark and, you know, the walls, they're so dark. Immediately brightens up the space and it looks so good. I'm going to recolor it, of course, and probably end up making it dark. But I kind of like the colour it is now. Let's see, just plain white. Mm, I prefer the kind of more uh, warm tone. I think it's quite cool. So maybe... Maybe like this, and then I could do like accent walls here and there, depending on how I feel. So I'm going to get it again, and I'm going to put it in the kitchen. Like just any, you know, get the same one that you just used. Place it around. Hang on, you can't really see that. Let me get this one. 
which is one that I have recolored, but it's the same. It's just a blank wall and we're going to recolor it. Um, but this is just to put it in the kitchen. Grab this. Don't forget the stairs. The stairs often end up forgotten and I don't like how that looks. So we're going to recolor it and we're going to make like a brick wall, I think would be kind of nice just for the kitchen because realistically you're going to have like tile or something uh, just because it makes sense for our kitchen. Oh my god, I'm home alone and my dog started barking like crazy and I saw a van outside our gate. It's okay, it was just the delivery driver, but you know, give me a second to like stop my heart beating. Oh my god, it's so scary when you're home alone. Every little thing scares you. Anyway, back to the house. Um, Use any brick you want, any tile you want, totally up to you. I might use, oh I don't know, I want it to look nice, I don't want it to look super... I don't know. I, I really don't know. Maybe I'll match the colour to this. I think that could be kind of nice. Oh, wait. <laughs> Not like that. Hang on. Let me try and recolor it better. I don't want it to just be plain like that. Oh my god. Wait. Can I not do it? Hang on. Okay, that is not how you recolor something. Hang on. Let me show you. Grab this. The colour. Not the actual, you know, pattern and everything. Just grab the colour. That's how you do it. There you go. Now, if we go back to the brick. Yeah, oh my god, what am I doing? This is the stairs. I don't want to color the, the stairs just yet. So go to the brick. And we can recolor it a little bit more. Hmm, I like that. I think it's nice. It, you know. Oh, wait, it's so dark. Hang on, I don't want it to be that dark. Let me make it a bit lighter doesn't really match the flooring. I would like it to match a little bit more. Maybe like that. Add it there too. And then also here. And okay, I, I'm going to also use this in the bathrooms just because, again, uh, I like to keep it consistent and use the same patterns and stuff. I think it's quite nice. We'll go upstairs and do the same thing. As for the bedrooms, I'll work on those individually and I kind of will add the walling, recolor it for each bedroom so it's kind of a different color. Right now, we're gonna just keep going with the walling and stuff. Okay, so for the little porch, we are gonna grab the flat wall and just add it in there. And then let's get a door. I kind of forgot about this and I don't wanna forget about it. So we're gonna do it now and we're gonna, you know, figure out what door we're gonna use. There's so many options. I love this one from university. I think it looks so good. Um, hang on, just sort that out. I think it looks so good. And I think it matched the windows a little bit with the the window in the door. I think it looks quite nice. Let's recolor it and see how we feel. I like it. I think it's good. And it matches pretty nicely. Okay. So now let's do the bedroom. So this is going to be like an office, so I'll keep it the same. This is going to be bedroom number one. Let's change the color to... Maybe like a green or something? Or yellow. Gorgeous. Yellow is lovely. And then we'll copy that and then we'll add it into this room. But we will recolor it and change it ever so slightly just so that every room is different because realistically most houses are probably not all going to be the same colour in every room. So I think it's more realistic to kind of show off Sims' personalities and favourite colours and stuff. Okay, amazing. Now, let me get some fencing in so that no sims are falling down here. Always remember to do that. I always forget it until like the last minute. Get your fencing so sims are not falling down. They're not going to fall down. But again, in a real life home, you will have some sort of a railing going along the landing or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so let's get some doors in. I think I want to use the doors from Ambitions. They are beautiful. I love them so much and I think they look very very good. So we'll get those in everywhere. And there. And one more right here. I think I'm going to make this one an ensuite for... actually that could be a main one. This could be the ensuite for in here. So there's two doors really close together here. It might look a bit odd but I don't really care. Er, no 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 we'll change it. I can go there and that's an ensuite for there. And then downstairs, we're going to get a door there and a door there. Or, yeah, that's fine. And then we'll get a door over here too. 
Uh, wait, I don't know. Hang on. Let me get a door here instead. Because I don't want a door going, uh... Oh my god, I don't know. It's fine. We can change it. It's not set in stone just yet. Okay, so let me recolor the doors. I might make the doors... They're kind of like a beige, a creamy kind of a white color. I might keep that. I do quite like it. I think it looks very, very nice. So, I think I'll keep it. Or does white look better? Maybe white looks good. Mm, yeah, it looks good. I like it a lot. Let's do that. And we'll do it to every door that we have just placed. And then there. And then the final door right there. So now we're going to do the stairs. Typically for the stairs, I do use the same uh, pattern that I used for the flooring. Only if it works well. Sometimes it kind of doesn't look right on the stairs, which is fine. I'll use something else. But typically... That's what I do. I think it looks the best. It kind of doesn't make the stairs stand out and look weird or anything. Uh, I think it looks quite nice. So we'll see. How is it looking? Ooh, I like it. I like it. It's a bit kind of a yellow. I might change it more to be more of a pink. And a bit darker. Just to match the floor a bit more. Because I feel like the floor is not that yellow looking. Uh, okay. Hang on now. This is impossible because like it's the exact same color I just copied over but oh it looks slightly different which is so annoying. All right and we're gonna copy this color onto the railings of the stairs just again so they're matching and everything is the same and then we're gonna do the same thing for the upstairs there. Gorgeous! Oh my god it looks so good. I'm actually so happy with how the house is turning out so far. So we're gonna do the windows and then we're gonna do the garden and then I guess we'll call it a day and leave this part here. So I will copy the windows over. That's pretty good. Let me grab the colour so that every window is the same colour. And we're not going to worry about shutters on the back of the house. Do houses normally have shutters on the back? Who knows? I, the shutters are not really a thing here in Ireland. It's typically on American houses. But I only add them if a house is looking super bare. So on the back of the house, I'm like, I don't really care because nobody's really going to be looking at that. So it's totally down to personal preference and also if you're American you might be like oh well the back of the house always has shutters. Go ahead and add them. I will not be because it's just not really a thing here but uh, it's up to you. Hit windows there and now let's do the garage door and I will show you how easy it is in case you have never done it before. Because we've already done the you know constrained floor elevation faults and everything we can literally just grab a garage door and add it in because we're done. So let's grab, hmm, I'll grab this one. I will recolor it, I think, depending on how it ends up looking, but I might make it gray the same as the windows. Yes, I like that a lot. Okay, amazing. There you go. Garage door, totally functional, uh, looking amazing. So next thing we're going to do is the garden. I am a big, firm believer on gardening before the interior because I totally lose motivation once I've done the interior because I'm like whatever it's done so I end up doing anything for the garden and it doesn't always look the best so I am very much like a do the exterior first big firm believer especially since people are going to see the exterior of the house I'm like it has to look good you know what I mean Put all your energy on that before you do anything else on the inside or whatever. So, hmm, let's see what we want to use. Uh, with When it comes to like terrain paints and everything, go with what matches the colours for the house, I think. Because I could use this and it just doesn't really go with the colour at all. So it really stands out and just doesn't look right. Obviously, I could do a simple match of the pathway with this custom content one, which... You know it's simple it's nice it's nothing too offensive on the eyes or anything it's quite nice and then I might do that for the garage does that look good I don't know or for the garage I could grab the flooring I know okay I always say use flooring to outline what you want to do and also so that you don't go over onto the grass or you know you don't paint whatever you don't want to paint let me show you like I can literally just go crazy because I have the flooring either side that I'm not going to end up colouring in the wrong thing. It's amazing. It's so good. 
So now we're going to get some dirt and sand and we're going to make it slightly lighter, the, the brush strength, so that it's not super dark. I'm just going to put it randomly around the outside of the house, wherever you feel like putting plants. Again, very much personal preference. I don't like gardens that are too crazy in The Sims. I just kind of like put a tree here, a tree there, a couple of flowers over there. Uh, I don't really like doing anything too over the top, but uh, it's up to you whatever you typically do and whatever you feel like doing. So let me just see how everything looks. I very much check every single tree, see how they look compared to the colours of the house to get a good idea. I like this one. It's beautiful. It's from University and the swatches, not the swatches, the shades are gorgeous. They're absolutely beautiful. And then maybe this one? Mm, no not a fan this one is nice supernatural uh i think it's kind of cool quite like it i love this one from uh pets however it's ginormous and another good tip is okay say for example what's a good example hang on i'll show you with the bushes in a second but if you're like oh my god that tree is huge click it again and you might get like a smaller version of it or like you click it once and it's like this size, click it again and it's like this size. Let me show you. Boom. Same tree. It's smaller. It's smaller. It's bigger. You know what I mean? So the exact same object has multiple sizes. I think it's really cool. Hmm. I like this tree. It's very full and I would prefer a tree that allows you to see the garage. So there's this one. Classic. You know, I always use it in all my houses, but again, for good reason. It looks nice. The color is nice. Uh, maybe I'll go for that. And then maybe this one too on the right. I quite like that. I think it's nice. Okay, let's get some uh, shrubbery in. And let's... Hmm. Again, I don't want it to be too crazy or too chaotic, but just like nice. You know what I mean? I just want it to look like full of life and nice and green and stuff like that. That's kind of the main thing I go for with gardening. Also, I am by no means good at gardening in The Sims 3. I like genuinely, I like I need lessons. I'm that bad. So by no means follow what I do, listen to what I do. It's just, this is just typically what I do when I'm building. So if you wish to follow it, of course, go ahead. But I don't really have any kind of plan. It's more I just play stuff and hope for the best. Hmm, I want to get a smaller one, like this, maybe just around the tree. I don't know, it looks kind of odd sometimes when I'm doing this, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's just keep going with it. I'll put the mailbox there, and then the trash can can go over here, hidden behind the trees, by the garage. And let's get some flowers. But with flowers, I always see what colour looks best with the house. Obviously, if I'm doing like a blue house I'll do whatever color looks best with blue so maybe like red or yellow or something but it's totally personal preference this is just again it's just what I do mm. oh my god I'm so indecisive I really don't know what to do uh maybe this one is kind of nice oh no I don't really know what I want to do okay let me add this around here and then same thing over here i'll get rid of some of the uh bushes and stuff and just add the flowers maybe no i don't know i'm hopeless at this okay and then we'll add a couple more around here i might even add some over here to kind of block off the back of the garden uh so i don't know i think it looks kind of good maybe <laughs> Maybe it looks good. I don't know. That one. Hmm. And maybe I'll get like a little flower in the front here. Like the little yellow ones. Those are so cute. We'll get a couple of those going around. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> it's something. It is something anyway. All right. Let me hide that a bit. More. All right. Let me sort out the terrain paint. It's a little bit funny. And now that I've added in plants, I can kind of see, okay, where needs terrain paint, where needs less terrain paint. So we can go through and just sort that out. Just make it a little softer so it's not so, like, intense, I think is the main thing. And then let me get this tree. 
the small fir tree and we'll add it in the back. And then I think I'm gonna add some plants around that too, just so it's not kind of super awkward looking, I guess, kind of just plopped in there. And then also some flowers, again, just to bring more life to the garden. I think it's nice. Okay, how are we looking so far? Does it look good? Are we happy with it? I think I'm happy. I'm not gonna add fencing. That is something I sometimes do, sometimes don't. This time I won't, but I really hope you enjoyed part one of this series. I'm sorry if the video was really long or really short or whatever, but in part two, we are going to furnish the house. This will be out, I don't know when, but part two will be out like the next day, I guess, just to keep them together so that you can build the house all you know very close together not like once here once you know the you know part two is like in three weeks but I really hope you enjoyed it let me know if you are following along and building this house I would love to see pictures in discord if you want feel free to join that below and yeah stick around for part two tomorrow and let me know what house you want to see next I guess so goodbye